to the side this time because I may fall over right? Um, so, I want you to look out at the pink sign. Okay? Look for one minus sine squared. What can I replace it with? Cosine squared x. Cosine squared x squared. Alright, what's cosine squared squared? Cosine to the fourth x. This is each. It is. You like it? Yeah. That tree is a lot of it. Yeah. It's a lot of moving it around and replacing and replacing and replacing. It's fun. I like it. It's fun. The puzzle is put together. All right. And the more we do, the better you get. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Sixteen. I've got two terms there. I want you to think of it like this. X to the fourth minus Y to the fourth. This is good. Can't do it on the same thing. Okay? If I had something like that, I've got two terms. What do you notice about the terms? The same. It's the same squares, expert. right? So I would go into X squared, because the square root of X to the fourth is X squared, and Y squared, right? Make one A positive. You don't need to write that down. Okay? I'm just trying to model what we're going to do over here. Right? So I know that this has got to be a difference of squares. What's the square root of secant to the fourth? Secant squared x, and that's going to go to the front, it's the square root of tangent to the fourth. Tangent squared x. Take one a positive and one a negative. Okay, so now it is different squares. Exactly what this is doing. Alright, now I want you to look at your sign. Okay? Pink sign. You're going to look at that middle row. Do we have secant squared plus tangent squared anywhere in that row? Yes. Uh, not plus. Do we have secant squared minus tangent squared? Yes. Yes, so what am I allowed to put in for that piece? One. One, and then this is secant squared x plus tangent squared x. I probably wouldn't go any further than that. So that's it with factoring. Um, we're going to continue our journey through algebra first semester with Trey. Um, and try this one next. With performing indicated operation, these fundamental identities to get it as simple as we can. We have a binomial times a binomial. What do we need to do? Okay, now, I want you to look at that very, very carefully. Do I need to do all of them? No. It's first to last, right? Because what do they call you? Do you remember the name? Conjugates, right? And this is going to come up the whole rest of the lesson, okay? So remember the conjugate is when you have the exact same thing but the signs are flipped. And what happens? Do I need to, do I need to multiply it out or are we all okay with it? All right. So then remember the middle will drop out. That's why we skip the first and the last. We take a shortcut. Okay. So we've got tangent times tangent is going to be what? Tangent squared x. Secant times negative secant is? Negative secant. Good. If it wasn't a conjugate, say it was a cosine or something there, you can't do this. Okay, it has to be this colon I only drop out when it's a conjugate. Alright, I want you to look up at the sign. You see tangent squared minus secant squared. Yes. Okay. We don't have tangent minus secant. It's secant minus tangent. Okay, you see it? And that's okay. I wanted us to I wanted to make mistakes made because I want you to see that that's there's a difference, right? Can't you just make a negative one? Okay, so we're gonna work on that. Okay, there's two ways to do it. I'm gonna do it one way and then I'm gonna do it the other way. So I'm gonna show you both. So one thing I can I see right away is I know I can replace secant squared. You can decide which one you want to write down. So when I replace secant squared, what does secant squared equal to according to the fixed sign? 1 plus tangent squared x. And then what am I going to do with this guy? Back to algebra 1, right? So tangent squared x minus 1 minus tangent 
basically we're combining my terms. Right? That's what we're doing. I'm All right. I'm going to go ahead because I want to get this as simple as possible. I want to boil that out, but really, what am I doing instead of boiling? Conjugate. So first to last only. So what is secant times secant? Squared x. Good. One times negative one is good. Is that the simple like the idea? Tangent squared x. So secant, so secant squared x minus one is tangent squared x, right? Yeah. It's in the last, it's in the second row, last one, and second row. Okay. Now I'm not allowed to leave the trigger in the denominator. Or if we want to cross out as when this is the one time we would do it. Okay? Very rare. So we've got to put the reciprocal of one over tangent. Cotangent. So my final answer would be negative two cotangent squared x. Because I'm reversing this. One over tangent equals cotangent. Okay. I'm not flipping it. Because it's really nice. If you look at it, right there, it's negative two times one over tangent squared that, so I'm only flipping those simple of this piece. Yeah. So you can't have a trick function. You don't get a trick function in the denominator. They um, would always reduce it. They always split it back to its reciprocal. Does that make sense? Yeah. They always would take it back. They always do that. And that you will see, that will pop up like on multiple sites on top of this. All of a sudden, it will be a solution of it. But why does it all of a sudden make those to get my heads up? Okay. Alright, we're good with 18? Alright, good news. We're going to skip this one. Oh, never mind. Not that one. We're going to do that one. We're going to skip the next two after that. Okay? We're going to do two more problems. Okay? Alright. So, uh, we have to rewrite the expression that is not in fractional form. So that means I can't have, I want to get the, the, the trig out of the denominator and get rid of the fraction. So, the key to doing this is to multiply, multiply top and bottom by conjugate of the denominator. The top and bottom because we want to multiply it's like multiplying by one. Okay. So what would my conjugate be this time? So remember, conjugate means I take what I have and I switch the sign. Okay? Alright, I'm going to multiply across the top. I'm not going to distribute. Okay, I'm just going to leave it because sometimes, remember, we're doing these. It's better to leave it alone and distribute it at the end. So if you have something cancels. Alright, do I need to do all the foil? We set it up as conjugates on purpose, so we only need first and last. So it's tangent times tangent. Tangent squared. Good. And secant times negative secant. And again, there's a multiple ways we can do this, okay? You can't just replace the tangent minus secant, right? So you can either factor out the negative one or you can replace the secant. I'm just going to replace the secant. We've already done this one a few times. Have you noticed we haven't touched much of cotangent and cosecant? We don't see them as much, um, and like in AP Cup, we hardly ever see them at all, even though we have the rotates and the rotates and stuff for them. Um, but they, they, work, they work very similar to tangent and cotangent. Okay? Um, so we've got, um, so I'm substituting in what now? Tangent one squared. Plus one plus tangent squared. And then we'll write with the negative. Distributed and guys, we've got five tangent x minus <coughs> tangent squared x minus one minus tangent squared x. What happens now? Tangents cancel. And do I do I leave 